Today, I will be showing you four 3D modeling softwares for free in 2024. But that's not all. At the end of this video, I will let you know one of my favorite websites that automatically generates 3D models for you. So let's jump straight into it with Tinkercad. First, Tinkercad by far has one of the best free plans because it is free. There are no restrictions when it comes to Tinkercad with features hiding behind paywalls. Second, Tinkercad was super easy to install because there is no install. Tinkercad is purely browser-based. In fact, it is the only browser-based app in the list, making it super easy to hit the ground running. But caution, it being a browser-based application will come with its limitations, which leads us to the third point, making the model in Tinkercad. Making our model in Tinkercad was super easy. I have zero experience with it prior and it only took me six minutes to make what I wanted. Well, sort of. One issue is the software is limited. I had no idea how I could make rounded corners, and as a result, I had to compromise on that. This is something the other softwares won't have an issue with, but this did show me the limitations of Tinkercad when making more advanced changes to a 3D model. What Tinkercad does offer that others don't is a huge library of pre-made models. As you can see, I experimented adding a sword and a hammer to the model. Tinkercad is perfect for anyone wanting a short learning curve and the chance to make something themselves without installing anything. But if you're looking to make functional or more complex models, I would keep watching as the next softwares may be more up your alley. Second software we have is Blender. Now Blender is quite well known for its 3D modeling capabilities, for animating movies, video games, and 3D rendering. But how about 3D printing? Well first, it's as free as can be. Since Blender makes most of its income by donations, you have full range to the capabilities of the software. That being said, it is more complex software than Tinkercad, so it comes with a steep learning curve. And by steep, I mean steep. As far as installation, you just head on over to Blender's website, click download and follow its installation wizard. Easy, but sadly, that's kind of where the easy part stopped. Modeling the item was not easy, nor do I have much confidence in it. Blender relies on learning their hotkeys and intricate UI. For someone looking to make a quick model, this may not be your cup of tea. In total, this took me 42 minutes to make, and quite frankly, I am not happy with it. Unlike Tinkercad, which auto-clipped my holes into place, Blender provided no help with making four perfectly placed holes. Rounding the corners also had the same difficulty. I struggled to do them all at once, and even when doing them individually, I couldn't find out a way to specify how rounded I wanted them. This meant that I was doing it all by eye, which is bad for 3D printing as we want exact measurements. I believe Blender would be good for anyone with experience using it, but for a beginner, there are much better softwares out there for 3D printing. Which leads me to Autodesk Fusion 360, and this one is my favorite. This software has full capabilities of making a functional or complex model with confidence in a short period of time. Its free plan allows you to create up to 10 working files, and by working, I mean editable. Once you hit 11, your first file will now become uneditable. Installing was super easy. Just like Blender, you head on over to the website, fill in some information, download, and then follow the install wizard. At the start, modeling might look intimidating like Blender, but it's really not. With tons of content out there on the internet and great tooltips in the software, any novice can create some great 3D models in a matter of minutes. I was able to make the name tag in about six minutes and achieved all the functionality I wanted. Like I said earlier, Autodesk Fusion 360 is by far my favorite and I would strongly recommend any new 3D designer to start their journey there. But that being said, the next software is different and that might be a good thing. The last software we have is OpenSCAD. Installation like the other two was super easy, no complaints there. Modeling on the other hand is where the software becomes unique. Instead of it being a UI based approach to building 3D models, you actually program them. Now this was a fun experience for me being a software developer, but it still took me time to create the name tag compared to the UI based software like Fusion 360. I am sure there are some unique use cases out there for this software, but I would still strongly recommend Fusion 360 for any beginner. With all four softwares reviewed, this is what the prints looked like and the time it took me to design. They all turned out quite similar, but you can see the time varied quite significantly. 
And ultimately, Autodesk Fusion 360 takes the cake for time to design, meeting all the criteria, and providing me confidence in exact measurements. Now for the bonus that you have all been waiting for, a website that can auto-generate STL files for you. And that is Vector76 Gridfinity Parametric Web Generator. This site allows you to input a few parameters and then boom, a live 3D rendered model. And all you have to do next is download the file. This is great for anyone looking to step up their organization with Grid Infinity, but didn't want to manually search or design the 3D models. This also minimizes the risk of having two models that are incompatible. After all this information on software to create 3D models, you may be like, I just don't have the time or energy to make designs, and that is okay. I have created a video that shows you the five best 3D model websites out there so you don't have to design a thing. So click on that video if that sounds right for you.